Okay, see Lindelof videos. Write an equation for an exponential function using its graph. So if, if you were provided the graph of an exponential function with some details on it, they don't have to be a ton of details, but some details that either you could read on the coordinate plane or that were written in for you in the, like I've done here, you might be able to come up with this equation. The first thing that you're obviously going to have to start with is what's the general equation? And the general equation is y is equal to a times b to the x power plus k. k is called a vertical shift, and it's really easy because we know that exponential functions run asymptotic. This is an exponential growth function. So as it moves towards negative infinity, it becomes asymptotic to some horizontal line. That is, it's getting really, really close to this line right here, but it will never, ever touch it. It's called Murphy's Law of Halves, and we can talk about it if you want to. But what we can say for sure is that this line right here is the value of k. So automatically, if we're able to come to that conclusion that it is asymptotic to this line, and I tried to make it as clear as possible, we can claim that line. So it's negative 2. So that's a little freebie right there, isn't it? From here, if you see from here, we need to solve for the value of a and the value of b. So what we can do is this. This is, the, in my opinion, this is the most important point of all, and this is where I always start. So I'm going to take that point, and it's the point 0, negative 1. So I'm going to take the point 0, negative 1, and I'm going to say I know that y is negative 1 when x is 0. So this 0 and the x coordinate, this is the xy coordinate, right? So it says x is 0. So here's x right here, so I'll put a 0 here. It said that y is negative 1, so I put negative 1 here. Don't forget to use this horizontal asymptote that you had here, is this. So it may not seem great to you yet, but it's actually wonderful because we know that any number, that a to the 0 power, any number, is equal to 1, so long as a is not equal to 0. That is to say, without going into this big discussion about it, that a to the 0 power is not 1, and it's not 0. It's undefined. It's a mess. So I don't want to get too far down that road. But there's nothing that makes me think that b is 0, So why? because we know by definition it's got to be greater than 0. So this is not 0. So look what we have. We have negative 1 is equal to a times b, but b to the 0, so b to the 0 is equal to 1, because we know that b, just by definition, must be greater than 0, so it can't be 0. Therefore, times 1 minus 2. It's going to keep doing a little bit of algebra here. a times 1 is a, a minus 2 is a minus 2. You see what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add positive 2 to both sides and get a is equal to 1. Take a second for that algebra, but that's all I did. I'm going to rebuild my equation for a second and say that y is equal to 1 times b to the x power. And remember, we already solved for the k value, which was negative 2. So I'm just going to keep putting it in there. You don't want to forget about it because you'll get lost. Okay? So far, so good. Keep doing a little bit more algebra. 1 times b to the x power is just b to the x power. You're like, okay, how the heck am I going to get that b value? Well, we have another point, don't we? And the other point that we have is the point 1 1. So we know that y is 1 when x is 1. So b to the first power is just 1. So 1 is equal to b minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. Add 2 to both sides. And we get b is equal to 3. So b is equal to 3. Now you're going to have to take a second and get all your pieces. Remember, we solved up there that k was equal to negative 2, right? Put all, this is a process, right? So you have to put all the pieces back together. We have y is equal to a is 1. I'm just going to leave it. b is 3, so we have b to the x power, because that's our where our variable goes, right? And k was negative 2. And lo and behold, friends, we have got an equation. So this is actually very doable. Uh, I didn't say it was easy. It's doable, and you have to really invest in the process. But I hope this was helpful for you. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it, and tell somebody.